OTA sounds like a band name. Not gonna lie. K-pop band name. We're OTA. Woo! I do listen to K-pop if you're wondering. Haha, <laughs> in your face. That's... Uh, we got a... Arb Ar Ar Arboglyph. So? Arboglyph. The plan. Arboglyph. We're in a car waiting. We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out today. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Tyler should be saying that to Ali because uh. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Miss Brown. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working with Hector? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. Can you hear me? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical t-shirts that you see. Tyler? Tyler, please. Denise, Tyler. Wilson. I'm not there. Sorry. Vincenzo that I'll be oh, good morning, Alice. Yeah, hello. Hi, Uncle. I'm going to take Dr. Torres' statement. That was a quick I'm switch. For Vincenzo to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. So am I. Tyler. You don't have to whisper. You're in my head. Oh, right. Apparently, Eddie's not in the same mood now. What we said outside seems double. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, hey. middle-aged adult. He adults. speaks. Right? How's Delos treating you so far? You dated? It's been good to see Allison. Happy to see Allison. Nonstop about you lately. I know she's happy to have you here. Hey, been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fire Weed was lucky to have you. Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. I'm gonna guess he enjoyed it. Some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts, I'll let you know. man, they were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I um, volunteer sometimes at the JCE. You know, give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. Wait, really? That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those. But what is the JCE? <laughs> Fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them. People who know where they're Oh, it's a, another youth center. Okay. They'll fight for what they need. Anyways, yes. Sorry for the rant. Dr. Torres, you said your daughter was with you during the incident? Yes, she is. I'll need her information too then. Can you give me her name and date of birth? Tyler Ronan. Good to see you again. Hello. Oh, you think you're Greg's. That usually happens between ages 11 and 21. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, uh, <laughs> Thanks. It's been a while. It's been a while. I don't want to say, like, I won't be around long and stuff like that. I feel like that's rude. Uh, uh we just can't get enough of neon lights, smelly food. And smell of old takeout. <laughs> oh, come on. It's not that bad. So is there anything I can help you with? I'm not gonna ask him directly. I don't want that. How's your day? I don't want to ask him directly because that that makes you suspicious sometimes. <laughs> I thought the chief was gonna rip that alarm right off the wall. Oh, all right. Uh, pictures. Oh boy. Fire drills. Everybody's favorite way to slack off. Hey, is that your desk? Huh? I didn't think Good so. drills, tip. Move on. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Am I, am I looking at a fire drill? Of course. But look, we really appreciate Our Chief Brown's taking a statement, but you might be able to snag him when he's done. Did you need something, Allison? Uh, yeah. Tyler? Shall we? Morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. So we shall. Hey, could we talk to you in private? 
It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about our mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. No, you didn't. You lied. We ain't gonna get answers from him. We already know we're breaking in here later, so... Let's do it! thinking of breaking and entering the police archives. Tell Baker go home. Could you go through the full details? Ow. Punch my dog. And you'll go to Central Park and I'll go to Central Park. Hey, what are you two up to over there? Everything all right? Uh yeah, everything's fine. We're just uh I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know, Mother Nature's juice cleanse. There's a bathroom just past the break room, behind you, first door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like that. Too suspicious. There must be another way up. You know, Craig's been talking about a fire drill today. Are there any kind of fire exits? Oh my god. Why didn't I think of that? Lobby. Now. Could you go through the full details of your morning with me? It's the third time you're asking that. Let's see. There. Fire uh. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building. But it'll definitely be locked on the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one who opens it. Wait, really? Is that a better idea? Aren't cops like trained to notice? Oh, I'm not. Really? I'm not exactly an amazing actor. Figure out something simple and commit. I have faith in you. Oh gosh, you have to commit to something now. Um. Uh, yeah, sure. That'll work. I, I kind of want to look through all the options first. That one seems the most promising. I guess I probably have to make a trip to Circuit Breaker, but I could turn the lights off. Go. Improvise. You know what, we're gonna go straight for the, the, the missing persons. That light's gonna fail. Let's just do this. Huh. Officer, I I think I saw her. I saw that girl. Oh, which one? Stella Reyes. I'm positive I saw her when we stopped to get coffee on the way in from Juno. At Tommy, right off the marine highway. Oh. Uh yeah, <coughs> I don't think that was her. Stella Reyes's body was found about fifty miles south of Anchor. Oh man. Oh, no. Yeah, I uh, forgot to take that poster down. I'm sorry. Tyler. Um Time out. We're trying we're trying to find
Let's go! What happened? Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. We got there. There wasn't even any paper on the floor. Messy. Right. It doesn't seem like it. Alright. Turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building. The staircase will be right there. We head now? Exiting buildings! We are s Oh. Uh, uh yeah. Gotta get going. Gotta get going. Bathroom. I'm uh Gonna wait for her outside. All right. See you around. Later. She sounded suspicious. Okay. By the door. Come on. If someone has a motorcycle. I want to ride it. Oh, it's just a bicycle. I'm gonna just go straight for this. How old is Brent? Thirty eight. Alright, let's see what's in here. Wow. Graduated really young. Youngest officer to ever join the DCPD. If Eddie catches us in here, there's no turning back now. Alright, I'm guessing that's just looks like this things. is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Ah, oh, just examine examine files. You applied to a summer drama program back in two thousand nine? This one's in the bottom. Except you're... No, they didn't. Well, uh, this letter says you got in. What the heck? Did Eddie just turn you down? I'm sorry, Allison. Shouldn't be surprised you dragged down that attack. Now, now I'm really trusting Tyler's memory here. The one we chose earlier. Brown will sign the and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed Administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I know I was told some strange intent you didn't like. Just Please pay due, Mel. More back doors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. 3,000. Yeah, Brown is getting so much more... Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on a case. Uh, sketchy. Yeah. There's nothing else there. Alright. Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, outstanding citizen he is. The, huh. the Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. This guy has a record, and not a short one. Why is he even in the running? has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. There's always a choice. Guilty. Misdemeanor. Uh, there's so much to read. He might work, Donald. Okay, so that's just someone else who's there. Ah, uh, diploma thing. Oh, it was a discharge. Uh, some, someone quit? Seriously? You're gonna try to hack okay, into his cool. computer? We're here for information. And computers are basically information pinatas. Uh, people we are all adults. Whoever leaving dishes, cool, that doesn't matter. So, okay, we would like to remind you upcoming soon. Okay. Please remember your presence is required November 11th at 1300. I need to all speak so you can attend a reschedule. Re okay, cool. Oh, Dinner? Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie. Because then I would love to have. Does he? Poor Tom. He preferred staying late. Whoa. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't I don't Wrong know. case. But there's a reference number. R six eight six five three. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where the file is. 
kind of want to know what's in this drawer. Sorry. I, no, no, I'm not the table. Um, yeah, that, that Brown is literally getting sketchy, like, as it goes on. He's giving me real Jefferson vibes. From, uh, Life is Strange. Gl uh, the, 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 the glasses. Famous photographer, dude. If you don't know who I'm talking about, play or watch someone else play Life is Strange. Tune go again. Gosh dang, what if I get it wrong? Deh. Oh, there's do. Okay, so that's last. One is last. Dumb daddy. No. Dumb. D. Okay, so it's nine something. Nope. Dumb da dee do. Dumb da. Okay, wait, wait. We got this. Ready? Dumb. Da. D. No. Oh, gosh dang. Dumb daddy do. We have broken into the archives room. Uh, remember like to keep yourselves uh, hydrated. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. We're gonna have to resort to everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files, and I have to. Well, it said that it wasn't digitized. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with Fox Dude? <laughs> How dare you? Because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R6 8653. Look it up. Look it up, she says. Okay. R, R. Nope. Okay. Uh. This one either. Uh, that's not it. Nope. Well. Oh. Ten reference numbers. Zero five R sixty eight six seven three. Zero five R sixty zero five. So that's zero. That's zero eight. Two thousand four three two zero nine. Okay, so there's zero five. Zero five miscellaneous. No, it's not that one. Uh, it's gonna be one with zero five. Oh wait, maybe it's two thousand five. As well, because there's there there could be a box with two thousand five. Here we go. Oh, R sixty eight. Wasn't as hard as it looked. <clears throat> so now we gotta find our case file in all this. Actually, no wait, that should be easy. Uh, this is so much more harder to read like this than it is regularly. Except I can't read regularly because I'm blind okay uh notified by my partner officer christian holt by accident at 12 canary road delos crossing ak774477 white female identified as mary ann ronan 
date of birth 7 8 1964 falling over deck into lake audio recorded tape number 36359 and 36360 prown 2258 hole and i arrived at the scene uh brief by patrol officer j chan okay located witness miner's name redact redacted ronin and miner's name redacted ronin date of birth 3794 uh children of marianne ronin couldn't get a statement from them as they were under dire stress and shook and shocked their children were taken under control okay brown took uh arrived at scene rolled prints of victim crime lab at scene co completed photos of scene and recovered an, an unlicensed rasters 3121 shotgun bullets recovered from location barn brown uh let's turn this cleared scene I'm hoping I don't have to remember any of those numbers because yes put it back exactly as you found it all right I'm in you can search by keyword what should I look for I don't know Marianne Ronan March 1st 2005 hello okay that was easy Okay. 24 hour homicide report. Okay, cool. What do I do with these? Uh, 24. Okay, crime summary. Autopsy report. Can I see these? I'm so confused on what I'm trying to do. Choose files. Two cases files found as your result. Oh, I didn't mean to click that, but whatever. Okay, cool. Can I click Q? Oh, I didn't want to click that. Sorry. R62766. R62. That's R63. R62 is R61. Gosh dang, I hate this game. Uh, that's not zero five though. We need zero five R sixty two. It's thirteen five two. Twenty four miscellaneous. Uh, zero six zero eight. We need. Is there any up there? R sixty eight. R sixty three. That's R63. We need R62. Uh... Oh, it was literally right there. Okay, let's see this. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. That makes it even worse. Because... Because now you feel even more guilty because you know you probably could have saved her. Oh gosh, okay. Uh oh ooh. okay. I wanna check this other one. We need to check Zero uh six one. R sixty one eight eighty nine. There. There you go. This one. Let's see what this one says. And then we gotta go look for more gosh dang. Uh driver's license number 
Oh gosh. Okay. Uh. All right. Uh, this is just us, right? That's the crime report. I didn't want to do that. That's the crime report. Oh, there's a. You can turn the page. Uh, oh. gosh dang. Uh, exit her home and enter her garage. Start loading a roster. Three one two one nine millimeter shotgun. Shortly after her, her child, minor's name redacted. Ronan, eleven years old, entered the 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 garage to display a new haircut given by sister. Minor's name redacted. Ronan, according to witness, minor name redacted. Okay, Ronan statement when she saw the child's haircut, Marianne became enraged and threatened. Uh, Tyler with a shotgun. Tyler for the garage towards the lake, calling help. Marianne followed, still armed, on. Out onto the dock and southern. Okay, cool. Hear the noise. Ronan also came out. Okay, Ronan under the throw from Marianne, defending themselves, stabbing mother with a pair of scissors. At the time, the witness state M R Ronan, M A Ronan, lost uh, Marianne. Okay, I fell into the lake. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, cool. That's just that. Stall him. Get him into his office. Ronan children. Five oh one com e oh. Uh, I think we saw that here. Yeah, it's right there. Come on. Unbelievable. I want to do this quickly. Come on. Okay, that's big. Put this back real quick. Uh, okay, cool. Oh, come on. Zero five R sixty eight M I S. What was it? Zero five. Here we go. Come on. I don't want to get caught. Hopefully, we don't get caught. Is accurate? And I hope she's. Twelve Canary Road insurance diagnostics. Okay. I patient name illegal. Uh, Tessa hereby release. Okay, cool. Is that gonna open up more things? I don't think we need to read them as much into them. I think we're literally just trying to search through these and find a, the case file. Or we found the case file, but more things. Gosh dang, this is, this is, this is. This is like a theft report, child neglect report. Okay, Tessa, 2005. 2005. Oh, two zero one. Got it. We 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 got it. Hurry up. Hmm. One of my Thomas says it. Say that she observed Ronan browse the aisles for while chatting discreetly with her. Say that she was behind the cash register and did not have direct. 
After 10 minutes, Ronan asked Becky if she had any organic mosquito incense in stock. Becky informed Ronan that she did not, but stated she believed this demand was odd due to the winter season. Ronan then left without purchasing anything. Becky stated that at approximately 5 minutes, she walked back through the aisle where Ronan had been and discovered a missing box of detergent. Becky states that she had very recently restocked the shelves and no one else had been in the store that morning. Stated that she has suspected Ronan of shopping from before in the past. Nobody will be while in the company and possibly with the old. Sorry, I thought someone else at the door. Uh, Vex stated that was that a reason to suspect Ronan to be quite guilty of child neglect. They don't eat and are exposed to all kinds of inappropriate influences. I... Hard to believe that. Hard to believe that, actually. Right now. I... Oh, gosh, man. I don't want to exit the store and then be like, hey, 